What's the most you'd ever be willing to pay for a price uh, pair of sneakers? I'm not picky with prices. I mean, if the sneaker looks looks cool, then I, I mean, I I buy it. But um, suggestions for anyone, I mean, they gotta they gotta kind of slow down with the prices. I mean, you can't you can't go out and buy a pair uh, like Yeezys. Th those are the ones that I won't buy. I mean, Yeezys like what thousand uh, dollars? Sometimes they go for like five thousand. Yeah, see, that's that's too much for a sneaker, especially when he's not even with Nike no more. So I mean, what's the What's the odds of you really sitting there wearing that sneaker more than once or more than twice? So, I mean, it's it's, it's kind of crazy. So no Yeezys at all? That was actually my next question: is if you own a pair? Nah, no Yeezys at all. I mean, I don't. I mean, I wanted a pair, but then when I seen that price, I was like, no way. What did you think when Kanye decided to leave and leave Nike? Um, I think it was bigger for him. I mean, because he knows that um, Nike re really wasn't giving him the profit that he that he wanted and deserved. I mean, Yeezy, he, it's a great sneaker. I mean, I, I like the way it looks, and it's different from everything else. And I think, I mean, if I made a sneaker like that especially, I would want to get all the profit that I can get. And, I mean, I think that's one of the reasons why he left and went to Adidas because he went to a company where they appreciate him a lot more. And, I mean, I don't blame him for that at all. As a guy who wore Adidas in college and stuff like that, what was your reaction when you heard that he signed with Adidas? Oh, I was hyped. I mean, I like I like Kanye a lot, and um, I was hoping that he was going to come out with a basketball sneaker, but my time was already up in college, so now hopefully um, someone else can come out with something different. So what do you expect from the Adidas-Nike, I mean Adidas-Kanye uh, partnership? Oh, well, sneaker would be out soon. I mean, I know that he's um, he's big into like like basketball players like Derrick Rose, for an example. And I, I could see him teaming up with, with Derrick Rose or something like that, trying to figure out something for his sneaker. And, I mean, it would be big for this um, city of Chicago as well. I mean, that would be huge for them two, two guys to really make a sneaker together. Uh, we've seen you rock and wanting games and Adidas as well as Jordans off the court. Like, what do you think is, like, the, the breakdown of your collection? Well, right now Adidas got the top share. I mean, that's because I have so much, so many pairs of them. It's kind of crazy. And then, right after that, I would say um, probably M1. M1. I like M1 a lot because I mean, not only am I looking um, looking forward to signing with them, but I mean, I, I love the way they sneaker feel. I mean, that's something that really plays a um, huge role. Like I said, within the um, sneaker brand. And right after that, I would say it's Nike. I mean, Nike. They come out with certain sneakers where you're, you're prone to be injured. I mean, like, look at the low-top Kobe's. I mean, I tried them one time, and I tweaked my ankle one time, so I was like, I got to slow down on them on them Kobe's. So, I mean, it's different. There's certain sneakers like with Nike where you can just rock on the, on the streets, and then on top of that, you can really play in. And, I mean, it's it's different modes to it. Do you know if uh, And One has any plans for, like, any signatures coming up for maybe, like, Lance Stevenson? Well, what they do with their guys, they... um. They make they let their guys make their own sneaker and um they um get a mold of your foot and everything and being able to do that, I mean you're basically being the stores with your own sneaker. And I mean a lot of companies aren't doing that because they have so many people on their on their um their staff that they don't they don't really want to do that for everyone that's there. So I mean I, I think M one with them doing that and being able to make your own sneaker, especially a guy coming out of college. That's something that everyone has always wanted. So I mean, Lance has his own sneaker coming out, and I think that'd be good for um for him and, and also for the brand of M1. So if you were designing your own, what style would you make it? High top, low top? Um, both. I would say both. I I make high and low, but I'm really a a low top guy. I mean, I I, I like how they um they feel and, it, and especially they're light compared to a, to a mid sneaker. You wore Adidas in college, and Adidas has so many different styles and partnerships, different collaborators. Is there like any particular department of theirs that you felt drawn to outside of the basketball kicks? Like they got the Jeremy Scotts, all like the old school casual stuff too, like the Stan Smiths. Oh, I, I rock Stan Smiths a lot. Those and um, it's funny because like when I'm just like walking around, I wear Sambas a lot as well. And um, I think those are, it's like really more so the, the soccer sneakers. Those are the ones that's really comfortable for your foot and they're kind of light. I mean, I'm, I'm a guy that goes off of how light the sneaker is and I don't want to be wearing bolts on my, on my feet. That's something that's, that's worse.